Hey, it's Night again with Care Leadership. Stoked to be with you today to talk about how to pack your pack for a trip. In this scenario, I'm thinking maybe our spring trip to Catalina. It may rain, it may not, so I want to be prepared for that. Some things I want to think about is being able to access the stuff that I want quickly, having good balance, being able to compress it all so it's nice and tight and close to my body, not having a lot of stuff dangling around, and the environment, in this case, rain and cold, and being ready for that. So to start out, I'm using the Marine Corps trick my wife loves. Use a big black plastic bag, stuff it down, put some good space. Now I don't have to worry about buying a super expensive watertight backpack. I've got one homemade right here. I always start with something light, like my sleeping bag. Stuff it all the way to the bottom. I want everything in here super tight, no airspace, just gear. So I'm gonna take this and stuff it in right next to the sleeping bag to keep it tight. Don't think I need access to my big gloves until tonight by the campfire. I'll get those in there. Definitely don't want my down puffy to get wet. I'm gonna get that in my black plastic bag. Got some pants, I'm hiking in my shorts, but definitely want to have some pants for a cooler night. Long johns, pants, long johns, and a rain layer are gonna make me really comfortable. Got the good old vest. And I've got a synthetic puppy because we all know that down might not work in the rain. As I'm doing this, I want to make sure my compression straps are nice and loose, so I have lots of room in my bag. All right, that's everything I want in my black plastic bag, so I'm going to push it all down, give it a twist, and lock it in. You can see how my backpack stands up on its own. It's nice and balanced, that's how I can tell. Now I'm going to go to my food and cooking gear because it's nice and heavy and I want it right next to my spine so it's not pulling me back or pushing down on my head. It's nice and balanced on my back here. I don't want all that empty space in my pack so I can throw my stove in the pot. And I've got some quinoa but notice there's a lot of air in here and I promise this will explode into funfetti in the middle of your pack. So, you know, Pack it down really nice. Close it back, seal it with no air in there. Now I don't have to worry about it. And it fits just right into my pot. pot. I've got a larger pan here, so I'm gonna put that in first. Now right in the center. Pot goes in next. These hard things are kind of like bricks. Now I want some food and some softer stuff around it to keep creating that balance and fill in that airspace. So I've got some potatoes too, lots of, lots of carbs for hiking hard over in Catalina. This tent doesn't really fit here, right? But what I like to do Take the tent out. You can take the hard holes, stick them in lengthwise right along my spine, keep it nice and balanced. And I can take the rest of the tent, and I've got a great thing to stuff around all the bricks that I just put in my pack. And you can see here, I'm kind of getting it all down around. You can see my hand going in. It stuff really well. Sticks and keep it all together. It's also nice to have the tent on top of the, the cook gear because I'm gonna go Throw my tent out and be ready to go to a kitchen maybe a little bit away, but leave no trace. Starting to 
to think about access here. Oh, my first aid kit pretty close to the top. We might have lunch, so I'm gonna put my bowl pretty close to the top. I got my rain pants and my rain jacket here. And the cool thing you can do is grab a leg, stick it out. Now I can stuff this around the sides and you're getting nice, filling in all those little gaps. But I got the leg right here, so if it starts raining, I can open it up, pull it right out. Do the same thing with my rain jacket. Arms out, get stuffed in on the other side here. There we go. Still lots of room. Just wanted to notice, still have these out. These are great if I just want to boil water and I need something light. These are not great for leave no trace. You can use them once, then you have to throw them away. And it really is terrible to run out of fuel on a trip. So recommend using a whisker light and some liquid fuel. I'm gonna set those to the side for the cabin on trip. I like to have some water close to the top, but not too close. Still kind of right on the spine. I put my soft sack right there and then have some water for the trail I can put in here. I've got some fuel as well. I don't want to put my fuel on top of everything if it leaks. My food's not going to work and all my gear is going to smell terrible. So I put that on my other water bottle holder. You can also put it on the bottom of the pack outside of that black plastic bag. And that's pretty much it. It needs to go inside the pack here. I'm going to pull that tight. And I'm going to strap things up. I do have some things that I like to put in the brain here. Got my fork, a little bit of trail food, a little energy drink from the rough pack here, some active life sunscreen, mineral base, good for the environment. Got some gloves, light gloves for the trail, maybe it gets cold or wet. Sunglasses for sure. My buff and my beanie in case it gets cold. My toiletries in case I need to use the bathroom. Knife, headlamp, map and compass. My journal in case we take a break, I want to write some thoughts, or observations, pen, and love my coffee. I'm gonna have that accessible as heck. Zip that up. Next step, I'm gonna get all of these compression straps on tight. Tighten everything down. Now you can see I haven't even used the space in the front because it's very effectively packed. You can see it's pretty uniform, nice and balanced, stands up on its own. This is a well-packed pack. It's gonna be really comfortable on a trail for me. So now we have a well-packed pack, but when I'm laying all my stuff out to pack, like I just showed you, I like to lay out all my stuff for when I'm gonna be hiking. So maybe Friday night, I get back from work and uh, lay everything out. I wanna have my Saturday morning clothes ready to go. Got my hat, my underwear, Sun shirt, long sleeve hoodie if it gets a little cold, wool socks, sweet t shirt, some shorts. And these just sit right by my bed. I wake up in the morning, throw on my gear, and I'm ready to go. And of course, I like to have my hiking pole, whatever flavor you like, ready to go as well. If I don't put that stuff out and know what I'm going to be carrying, I usually end up with some extra stuff in my pack and extra weight or I forget something that I wish I had with me on the trail. Thank you so much for joining us. We're excited to have you on this adventure prep series. Look forward to the next series with you.